<laughs> fell off the edge of the city. <laughs> I have that effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking very bronzed and fit, as if you'd never been inside. Do you, do you remember... <laughs> This is like a year in prison doing this program. Do you remember what your number was? I mean, is it one N of those things that's yes, ingrained it's... in your mind in Pentonville? N76245. I'll never forget it. And what was it like in there? I mean, obviously it was no picnic, but the question I think that a lot of people would like to know is what George Best going in there, mm. how, how did they react to you? Were you either picked on or were they flattering to you? What happened? It was actually, it was, funny enough, it was quite enjoyable. After a while, um, you'd like to go back for a holiday sometime. <laughs> I think the, the nice thing was, I mean, the first day I got there, um, one of the inmates came up. See, I've got all the terminology now about the screws and the inmates and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And they came up, and one of them said, uh, "You'll be okay in here because you've done two things." He said that we all want to do. You got drunk and got caught, and you chinned a policeman. He said, "So we'll take care of you." And it was, <laughs> from that day on, it was it was quite good. The thing was, you know, I did something wrong and uh, I was punished for it. I still believe rather harshly because while I was in there, I, almost daily I picked up papers and read about people doing exactly the same as I'd done, uh, which as, as I'm not saying it was right, but I think I was very harshly treated. Yeah, but you couldn't expect people to have too much sympathy for you, could you? Because you've, you've fallen down a few times now. Um, only through drink, yeah. You, f you tend to find out when you drink too much, you fall down a lot. <laughs> I know some people. But how often can people be expected to pick you up? I don't ask them to pick me up. That's, that's what annoys me. I don't ask help from anybody. Uh, that's, that's the annoying thing about it. People keep saying that, uh, just recently I read that uh, every time someone puts out a helping hand, I refuse it. Uh, that's as far from the truth as you can get. And I don't ask any help. Uh, I am one of millions of people around the world who suffer from what is a disease called alcoholism. And I'm, I think the sooner people realise that it is a disease, the better it's going to be for a whole How lot of people. How long did it take you to recognise that it was a disease? It took me a long time, because I was the same as everybody else. I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to say that I couldn't just have one drink uh, and leave it at that, because I couldn't. Because it, 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 it affects me differently in my system. And uh, as I say, and it didn't only affect me, but the people who were close to me. But would you think that you had, as I said before, an easier time in prison because of who you were? To be quite honest, yeah, of course. I, uh, it wasn't a very pleasant thing to look forward to, but really, once I got in there and decided, you know, this is, it's got to be done, I, I just put my head down and decided I've got to get through it and, and make the most of it. And it was good from the point of view that I found out, really, uh, a lot of things about myself, and not only that. While I was there, I received something like 7,000 cards from well-wishers. I got the odd one from a crank, one or two, uh, but the nice thing was that 7,000 people took the time to write to me and say they hoped that I'd got over it and uh, things would be okay. So it made me feel good. There, there is a need for change, isn't there? How uh, are you going to change? The only thing I want to change is to stop drinking because it affects my personality and, and everything else around me and hurts a lot of people. That's the only thing I want to change because I know uh, 7,000 people don't write to you and people, friends stick close by you if you're 100% bad. And I know that's not the case. If I thought I was a complete imbecile and an idiot, I'd be worried. I have a, a hell of a fight every day to stop myself from drinking. That'll be there forever.